today we are here with the award-winning MC Barber. Hey everyone, this is MC Barber. Uh, in this video I will be doing uh, skin fades starting from skin with a straight edge razor uh, and I will be doing a pushback pompadour on the top. Here my first step is to create an outline from where I'm going to start shaving. Usually I like to kind of create this line with my edges and then I'll use uh, some water to soften the hair down and then I'll uh, start shaving. This is just to make it easier for me, you know, this step. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do this step. You can go straight with your razor and just do it. I like to do it just to kind of, you know, gives me an idea where I where I'm going and it makes it easier slightly for me. And when you see my uh, fades and my haircuts, uh, feel free to make a comment, uh, give suggestions and what type of uh, videos you would like me to make uh, in the future and I'll be more than happy to do it if I'm able to do so. I really uh, love this art of barbering. I really enjoy it. I enjoy it very much. This is uh, my passion ever since I was a kid. Uh, so it is my pleasure to make these videos and to learn more. Uh, we are uh, simply students of knowledge, uh, success is, uh, I mean education is a key to success, uh, the more, you, I believe, uh, the more you know, the more you work. And I'll give you uh, advice uh, that I kind of uh, learned the hard way. Um, if you think that you know then you really don't know. When you realize that you don't know, then you know something. Uh, so make sure that uh, stay humble and keep learning. I had an experience where I uh, was told by uh, a really good master stylist one year after competition, he told me, actually he's my coach now, he said, uh, I see you can cut hair, but I don't know if you can finish. And I said to myself, I was like, what does he mean if I can finish? So I didn't really pay attention to what he said. Uh, it happened that a year later I went to see his place to see what he does. And I really, I saw I did not know how to finish. So I started taking classes from him, from him and now we are best friends. I still take classes and he's my coach. But basically what that did for me, it put me back a whole year. If I went to his place the day I met him and started learning from him, I would have been way, way uh, ahead. I thought I knew how to do it, but the reality was different. So if you think that you know everything, you really don't know anything. And when you realize that you don't know, then you do know something. At least you know that you don't know. All right, so my first step there was uh, uh, shaving down to skin. I don't like using uh, electric shavers. I see a lot of barbers use them in the videos and so on. Uh, electric shavers get really close to the skin. Uh, and I don't, personally, I don't feel they are hygienic. Uh, unless you really do a proper sanitation, you should, after you use them, you have to... Uh, take them apart you have to clean the hair from the blades you have to spray them and leave them at least for 10 minutes minimum to disinfect uh, but i don't know if barbers are actually doing that uh, i mean seeing barbers and barber shops i really feel they don't do that and i don't think they are safe to use so i uh, i used to use them at the beginning but i got away for that that was the main reason i stopped using electric shavers so now I just do straight edge I'll shave it with straight edge and I'll uh,
blend it with my clippers. My clippers are zero gap, especially my edges. And I feel like this is a lot more safer way to do uh, uh, skin fades than using uh, shaver, uh, I mean uh, electric shavers. After all, uh, really sanitation is your reputation. And safety or your clients or safety of your clients should be your main priority. So you saw my first step. Now I'm simply working on my fade, removing uh, the length there. I did one and a half, then one. That was one eighth of an inch, or otherwise known as one. Now I'm using one sixteen of an inch. So that was one sixteen of an inch. Uh, I really like doing these type of fades. Uh, I did this exactly uh, fade at the Barber Expo this year in Connecticut. Uh, it was a fifteen minutes haircut. However, the finish was different. It was a, a full hawk on the top, not a pushback. And it was a 15 minutes cut. It really came out nice. I was very happy. It was actually first place winner. Uh, so it is possible to get these type of haircuts actually in 15 minutes, as I demonstrated at the Connecticut Barber Expo. So my next step here is using my edgers. They are actually zero gaffed. And I uh, now I'm working on the line that I have created with the razor. Uh, it, it could be slightly tricky removing that line since obviously your clippers, no matter how much you zero gap them, they really don't get as close as a straight edge razor does. So sometimes uh, you have to go back with a straight edge razor and kind of remove that thin line that might exist. And it also depends uh, on the texture of the hair. Sometimes on certain hair textures, your clippers actually will do the job, but sometimes you will have to go back with a straight edge razor and kind of break down that line that will remain on the end. For the experienced barbers, uh, they probably know what I'm talking about. Others might actually have, uh, <laughs> they might not be sure what I'm talking about, but as you can see, the fine line still exists there between the razor and the clippers. Now I'm working with my clipper with no guards uh, here. You are simply working with your clipper and you are uh, working with your uh, lever. You are opening and closing it. Uh, just like the way you are fading, sometimes you have to open it, sometimes, sometimes have to close it. Uh, it's just the way it is. I mean, sometimes uh, I could tell you, okay, I start with an open blade, then I went halfway, then I went three quarters way, then I closed it fully. And that's really what happens, but sometimes you just have to go back and do it a little bit more and so on and so forth. So basically you just got to work with your uh, clipper and kind of work on the, on the line. Now over the years I have actually developed a MC Barber system. My system is composed of uh, basically all categories of the uh, or all aspects of this trade uh, we do uh, scissor cutting clipper cutting uh, straight edge razor cutting blow drying and styling it's, it consists of about 50 different uh, techniques um, and it will be available on my website I hope by the end of January uh, that you can download and watch and learn. It will be more like a classroom type of uh, cl uh, videos. Uh, we also do the private classes in our and workshops in my barber shop. Uh, so feel free if you are interested to contact me at mcbarber.com. Uh, you can go on mcbarber.com and you will find all my info there, my phone number, my address, and so on and so forth, and set up your uh, Class. The classes are usually held on Sunday morning, 
um, they can go the whole day or as you like minimum three hours and up and really education is the key I take a class with my coach every Tuesday evening on styling um, and wish me luck I'll be competing this September this coming September in uh, 2017 in France in the world competition uh, for men's hairstyling All right, so I blow dried his hair, um, applied some product, and there it is. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please, if you like the video, put a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to make them. I would really appreciate it. Uh, mcbarber.com is my website. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much. Until next time.